Hi, I'm Gail. And I'm Toby. And we're here at the American Botanical Council today. We want to tell you a little bit and show you a little bit about processing ashwagandha root. Now, ordinarily, we would process ashwagandha root in the fall, but because we are raising the level of the soil in our raised beds, we had to dig our big plant out. We decided, well, let's go ahead and cut off the smaller roots on it, which are easier to deal with, and make them into medicine. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna take this huge mother root that came out of the ground, and we're gonna put it back in the Ayurvedic garden to grow more, and then in about three years, we'll dig it up again and do the same thing. So ashwagandha is one of the most revered plants in Ayurvedic medicine. It's considered a rasayana, which is a plant that is used for promoting longevity and overall good health. Ashwagandha means either horse smell or horse essence in um, Sanskrit and you would could tell that if you were here with us because you could smell it. It has a quite strong smell. Um, I do not find it disgusting at all. A lot of people do. Um, the Latin name Withania somnifera, the species somnifera, somnifera refers to ashwagandha's ability as a sedative to help people relax and sleep. It has so many uses, we couldn't possibly go into them in a short video like this. So I want to reference this article that's in Herbalgram, and you can go to herbalgram.org and you could read this if you wanted to know more because it has so many uses. It's just, I mean, it would be a list as long as my arm in eight point type. Toby, tell them what you're doing. So in processing the root of the ashwagandha, we're going to cut small chips or wafers. And since we're doing smaller uh, roots, they, they come in large and small and smaller. We're going to cut it on a 45 so we get an actual chip. And then we're going to take the chips and we're going to put them into our hydrator, dehydrator. And we're going to make sure that we uh, uh, keep an eye on them. Don't leave it going overnight unattended, um, but because you could scorch your, your, your roots, um, you could scorch any of the material and possibly start a fire, and we don't want that. So what we're doing is we're cutting them on an angle so we get chips. On a large one, you, uh, Gail has already taken the, the root and has taken, using a peeler, the uh, skin, the outer bark of it. Um, so now we're working with just the main part of the root, and like I said, with the larger ones, unless you've got a really sharp pair of hand pruners, you will have a hard time getting through. Oops. And they'll flick onto the other side. <laughs> so you could get do you have your catcher smith? No, I do not. Okay. <laughs> and so you get a chip that's roughly about the size of a dime. And then we just lay these off in, in our hydrator with our different levels. And eventually we'll get nice chips that we can put in to our medicine cabinet. So you dry them on very low heat, probably the lowest heat that your dehydrator has. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can do it in the oven. If you've got a gas oven that has a, a pilot light, you don't even have to turn it on. You can just put it in there with the pilot light. Keep an eye on it. You don't want to over dry it, but you want it to be totally dry to have all the moisture out of it. Once that's done, you can put it in a jar, save it for later if you want, or you can make a tincture of it. So what we would do is you would weigh it out on your little kitchen scale, put it in a jar, and then you'd use a one to five ratio. So if you had one um, cup, let's say, of root chips, then you'd use five cups of alcohol and water mixed together. So half and half water and alcohol. Probably what we will do since we just use, since we just use um, vodka, we don't do Everclear. Um, most of us don't like it. It's just really harsh. So we'll probably just do a tincture with straight alcohol. We can always water it down a little bit later. Um, once again, if you want to know more about ashwagandha, check out herbalgram.org. 
you have membership, but you don't have to be a member to get to a lot of this information. And if you want to learn a little bit more about other plants, you can either do it on our website. And if you're local to Austin, you can even come out and volunteer in our gardens. Thank you.